was just on the other side of the trailer looking over at us and it had caught her just here behind my car. For days, a cougar terrorized residents of the North Okanagan community, Grinrod, preying on their pets. Now, that cat lays dead. We attended um, and did an investigation. We did a track with, with cougar hounds and we were able to tree this, this cat here within 45 minutes. So he hadn't gone very far from the kill site. And uh, yeah, he was, he was treed and he was shot by myself. But he wasn't alone. Hunting in the same area was his brother. The next day we received another call by the cougar houndsman. He attended and uh, we authorized him to, to track the cougar with his hounds and to take it as a hunter kill. Angela Giesbrich was one of the residents whose dog was attacked and killed by the brother cats. I heard her barking, was listening to her bark, and then I heard her bark start to get frantic. And while I was thinking, I wonder if I should go get her, what's going on, I heard her start squealing and I knew right away something had her. And so we grabbed whatever tools we had, some shovels and stuff, and came out the front door. And uh, right there in the light, a cougar had her on the ground. Yet she wasn't the only one in the area to have their dog killed by this pair. She was blind and she was diabetic and she was older. But she thought nothing of running in the bush and taking on whatever was going to take me on. You know, she's a very protective dog. But they found two large fang holes in her skull. So that meant she was killed immediately. With dogs being attacked, uh, cougars, you know, they, they don't know the difference between a cougar like let's, or a, a dog and a coyote, let's say. And they do attack coyotes in the wild. And that's why they were going after these dogs. But yeah, it's, it's, it's natural that they will uh, attack dogs as well. Just over a month and a half ago, conservation officers were called to Armstrong after an even bigger cougar was causing problems for residents here. This cat was uh, attacking uh, miniature horses. He was caught after killing his seventh horse. While it might be considered natural for cougars to hunt in this area and prey on domestic pets, Vernon Conservation has received 149 calls for service dealing with cougars, up three times the number of calls since last year, citing it's most likely due to issues surrounding the cat's environment, such as food and weather. It's kind of something you expect living here. There are more tracks, there are more cougars. We still need to be careful. Jen Zielinski and Vernon for Castanet News.